welcome back to week two of the Small Nations Summer Series. This week we're learning all about the X symbol. But before we do that, shall we check out this week's Ali versus Katie challenge? This week Katie challenged me to the game Time for Tea. There's two parts to it. Number one, we have to flick a tea bag into a cup using only our foot. And number two is something special. We have to fill up a teapot, a teacup using a teapot and only the power of our mouths. Let's check it out. Who do you think will win? Ali or Katie? Ali, let's go. First one wins. I lost part one. Now I have to make tea for Ali for a whole week. Now on to part two. I hope I win. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> So clap your hands and sing Shout out and worship him So clap your hands and sing And let the praise be king Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like you There'll never be another Oh wow, what a God Oh wow, what a God There's no one like you Upon the earth 
Do you know, when I was younger, if ever I was in trouble with my parents, one of my best defence strategies, as it were, was to always point out how my sister was worse or had done something worse or how my brother was worse and he'd done something worse. And I always thought, if I can compare myself and make them look worse, then maybe I'll get away with it a little bit or perhaps my punishment won't be so bad. And actually, I wonder if we're like that with God sometimes. I wonder if we can look around us and, you know, we might have done, you know, a little white lie or cheated a little bit. And we think, well, I might have done that, but do you know what? I'm not as bad as that person who did that. Or I'm not as awful as that person who did that. But actually, Romans 3, verse 23, it tells us that we have all sinned against God. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all done things that mean that we haven't lived the way that God asks us to. And a consequence of not living that way is that we're separated from God and that actually we don't get to be in heaven with God when we die. Now that sounds like a pretty dire situation. It sounds pretty serious and it is. But there's a reason why us Christians call what we believe the good news. And it's because the good news is that God doesn't leave us that way. God loves us so much that actually he knew he needed to provide a way where he could forgive our sins, he could forgive us for the times when we've ignored him or shoved him away or lived in a way that displeases him. He knew he needed to find a way that we could reconnect with him. And next week you're going to find a bit more or find out a bit more about that. And I've got to be honest, I wonder if you'll rename it the great news. Hi guys, the memory first for this summer is John 360. Listen to the song and then you'll hopefully finally pick it up.
Okay guys, that's nearly all for today's Small Nations Summer Series. We know that we all make mistakes and do wrong things, but it's okay because we also know that God forgives us. How cool is that? Next week, we're gonna be learning all about the cross and how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. But before we do that, shall we get up and dance and sing with Naomi after we've closed in prayer together? All right, shall we do the prayer drill? I better put my spade down. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you forgive us no matter what we've done or what mistakes we made. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, get up and dance and sing with Naomi. And we'll see you next week. Bye.
got to own. Um, saving grace, we've got my. 